What's up boys? Today I'm going to be bringing back one of my favorite and also one of the coolest looking builds that I did earlier for the new patch and that is the rapid fire gunner where I go all fast attacking weapons and try to convert them all to fire. So I am going to need some levels for the lead storm since that does have it available. Other good weapons would be the burst fire from the gunner, the lead burster from the gunner, and the subata from the driller, stuff like that. Fire rate, fantastic for that. And then I also want to get the fire conversion as fast as possible to unlock the potency upgrade for some of the weapons. As a little twist for the build, I am going to be going for some status damage and some potency on them to try and scale the burn on a gunner and see if a status based gunner build is viable as well. But I'm not going to be passing up a relevant legendary for the weapons like that. Reload speed will help me a bit, and the lead storm has a pretty slow reload speed by default, so that's helpful. We got the lead burster here. That fits the build very nicely, and is one of the best weapons in the patch. It was extremely strong before the patch, and they gave it some buffs like the addition of the piercing upgrade for a lot of projectile based weapons. And it also has the favorite overclock at level 18. But for a multi-weapon build like this, I don't think I want that since I don't want to be hurting all of my other weapons. And then some good artifacts I could grab for this build are the ammo rig for the 50% fire rate to shoot bullets even faster. Pickled Nitro would be great since that's one of the best status effects um, artifacts. I mean, it's one of the best damage artifacts, period. But a lot of the artifacts don't even work on status effects, and that one gives a huge increase to it still. A fire rate for the lead burster. So nothing amazing, but I do like both of these, and that will give me a bit of reload speed. Red Sugar one's honestly pretty nice on the early levels. I'm going to take the level here. Since I'm going to need a lot of overclocks on this build, getting the early fire stuff, and then trying to get as much fire rate and reload speed as possible to make them look really cool. Having so many levels on the lead storm, I am pretty weak early on though. If I could get a decent overclock for the lead burster, that would help out quite a bit. If I get a shell back here, it's going to be very difficult. Looks like two flyers, okay, not bad. I guess just circle around the resources as much as possible and hope some of the enemies take them out. Okay, got the fire right at the start, nice. That will give me a decent damage increase since I already have the damage effect and I can start getting potency on that weapon now. And it looks cool. Um, crit doesn't work on the status effects, but that might still be the best one here. Uh, let's take the lead burster reload speed. Good stat for that one. Let's see, 129 gold, 49 nitra. That might be all of the resources on the level. Couple loot bugs to finish it off. Then I probably want to get a bit of damage on them as the lead storm's available. Make sure they don't remain too healthy once the bugs are super ramped up. Think you can kill me. Well, think uh, you can. yeah, I guess. Eh, it's a blue, and that'll work on every weapon in the build, I think. That storm's reloading, so kite a bit. Decent reload speed, sure. Reloading again. Um, I don't think any of these really work. 
you could convert that into a shotgun, then it would be okay. But not really. Uh, Subata kind of works. It has a 5 second fire rate. And you can improve that a decent amount, and it has a very quick reload time. Let's take the paint job since I will need a lot of levels here. We got the fire. Cluster grenades is so much damage, but I think I want to unlock the potency upgrade for it now. Try and push that as high as possible for the end version of the build. Okay, that's probably enough damage on the elites for now. I can run around and farm it a little bit. Let's take... Well, actually, the reload on that's very fast by default, so that might not be that good. I'll take a level on the lead burster if they're pretty close. Oh, maybe I did too much damage to them then. Status damage. I'm going to try and get as much of that as possible. Decent piercing. Fire rate is pretty good on that. To go with the very fast reload speed that it has, I will take a reload on the lead burster. Let's go with fire rate, I think. That should work on everything, and it should be pretty similar to that. And it'll look cooler. Big reload speed. I think I'm going to pass on that one. I will take a global reload. Actually, an early XP could help out since it's in the shop. I'm not even giving up a level for it. Some good paint jobs. That'll help me push the overclocks on these. Uh, reload isn't great on that, like I said, so I'm just going to take the lead burster level. I'm probably going to end up getting a few reload upgrades just because they're so much better than the other things. So I think that will naturally go down to like half a second anyways. And at that point I'm probably getting almost nothing from upgrading just the reload speed on it. Piercing for the lead burster, very nice. And we got the triple. So that's at six with the upgrade. Need to go back for that gold in the top left after the supply pod before I forget about that. Use the detonator to finish off the center part. Uh, HP in region is pretty good for a status effect build. Since there will often be points where you can't really push through them, and you have to take a hit or two. Ah, uh, none of those work. None of those work. Bulldog can be converted to fire, but it doesn't really shoot that fast, so none of those really work. That's kind of slow. Burst fire works. That's the only one I've seen so far. Yeah, 
potency for the lead burster. Sure. Don't have much of that yet since I have to unlock the fire damage to even start seeing it. Ah, uh, crit damage. It's probably worth it at purple. Even though it doesn't work on status effects. So a shell back, but it should be doable now that I have the grenades pretty ramped up. Let's grab the fire rate for the burst fire. And let me see the base stats on that. Reload 1.38, that's okay. We'll probably want some of that. They got all the gold down for me. Um, damage or potency, I think that works on everything, and that's a pretty decent upgrade. Job, sure. Let's get a bit of armor to go with my HP artifacts for some pretty good survivability. Decent light reload. I think I would rather look for overclocks. Well, it would be a basic versus that. I guess I will take that. It should still be quite a bit more gold, but it's so hard to mine when the shell backs out. Bouncing all over the place and then doing that long range spray to deny you mining time as well. A uh, big reload should probably take that. Um, I don't think I want either of these for the weapon. Damage doesn't work on the debuff. Piercing is good, but losing fire rate just kind of goes against the rapid fire gunner. That would give me a lot of damage, but it just doesn't really fit the build here. So I'm going to do that even though it's not optimal. You can probably grab some of the gold with him over there now. That has favorite and then the thing that reduces fire rate and reload speed, which I don't think I even want on that. Just because it goes against the build here with status damage and firing really quickly. Decent piercing, that's fine. I'll just get all the piercing I want from the regular upgrades anyways. Let's go with the reload on that, I think. If that was fire rate, I would take it for the burst fire. Um, these are not great. I guess the reload speed. Well done, 
I think I am going to take the cheap levels for these ones to try and get them up to the damage conversions. Ah, uh, that's fine. I don't think the 18 is that important, but reload speed is really nice on that. Uh, that's a pretty bad shot. Those are... Well, crit chance is meh. Might hold some gold to try and look for some status effect damage later on, since I don't have much of that yet. Uh, it's the third floor. I could get some decent value from that. Luck is pretty good. I'm gonna try the scanner here, I think, to help me get some more weapon levels. Still need two weapons converted. doesn't seem like the status effects are going to be that high of a percentage of my damage so far because I've barely gotten any status damage, only a few potency upgrades. Um, a legendary for that on the third floor, I'm not sure it might be okay. I did basically just start the third floor, so about half the run left still. And I've gotten some decent crit increases as well, the one crit damage and I think some crit chance as well. I guess the level on that one, it's not super interesting. Just a level, basically. I don't want to take that because it debuffs the main strategy for the build I'm going for, even though I think with the current build it would still be a damage increase. I just want to see what you can do with status effects on this build. Magnet towards the middle. Reload speed. I think with how few status effects and potency upgrades I've gotten, it would be best to just go crit with that. But I'm not going to do it. Shellback. Let's grab the overclock here. That's just damage. And got the fire. Nice. So one weapon left to convert to fire for the build. getting pretty hard to see with how fast I attack and all the numbers. Uh, let's go with the fire rate here to make it look cooler and apply more status effects. Another fire rate. Um, these are not great. I already have a lot of XP on the build. I guess that'll probably help the most.
Uh, sure. Wow, I have six mushrooms. I should probably focus them to try and finish the quest off since these shellbacks make it pretty hard to move around. Probably want to make it to the magnet at the end here if I can. That's a really bad spot for him to stop. See if I can maybe keep him alive a bit longer and go this path. Uh, burst fire, paint job, that's helpful. Got the fire, very nice. So all four rapid fire weapons online now. Now I'm just going for some fire rate reload speed and to get some other cool overclocks for them. Where did that- oh, there he is. That's pretty close, so I can farm a little bit more and wait on the magnet a bit. Reloads... I probably need some status for the build. Um, like I said, I don't think I want either the level 18 overclocks. I definitely don't want the favorite, since I would debuff all my weapons. And then the other one gives a big weapon damage increase at the cost of fire rate and reload speed, which would really go against the build. So I guess just some reload speed here. Decent armor. Potency. Or fire rate. I'll take some potency for that. Bit of fire rate is fine. And yeah, I'd don't want to reduce fire rate and reload speed for just some weapon damage. So the overclocks for a build like this definitely don't really line up very well. Bit of movement speed, don't have much of that yet. Paint job, cheap level. See what else we can get with gold. Armor's okay. Fire rate's pretty nice. Um, I can save a bit now. Yeah, if I had just swapped over to crit and scaled up the weapon damage itself, it would have been a lot easier to get relevant upgrades for me, it seems like. Another fire rate that's pretty nice.
It seems like some of these weapons could use some more like globally useful overclocks so that you could also go for status effect builds with them. But maybe status effects is just too silly with the options they have available currently. The lead burster is still strong enough that it probably doesn't even matter. That's so many numbers, my god. Ooh, fire rates. Uh, that's better, but that's cooler. Uh, I don't have any mining speed. It is a bit late for that. Oh well. Oh, let me move around a little bit faster. Looks like a magnet in the bottom right. But I am trying pretty hard to avoid stuff right now as much as possible. I can't see anything near me. I have to turn both of these off for a while. Jesus. I can't see anything and it's lagging pretty badly. Uh, let's get some movement speed here. Yeah, this build is getting a little bit too silly with that many numbers going everywhere. Pretty close so I can farm a little bit. Let's see if there's any red sugar nearby. I'm gonna grab a bit of HP. Just like, nope. Uh, I can still look for some overclocks there. Piercing is pretty nice. That's close to an overclock. I guess some more fire rates on that one. Pretty nice fire rate there. But that works on everything. I already have all the overclocks for the lead storm anyways. That's pretty nice, but also expensive, but oh well. Cheap level there, want some overclocks for that. Could really use some status damage now, HP's kind of helpful. Fire rate's not bad. Come on, status damage, that actually kind of works. That's about all I can buy for now. Like, there are so many projectiles that it's hard to see enemies under the fiery bullet effects as well, and that's with the numbers completely turned off.
Let's get that ready and save it until later in case I get pay to win or pickled nitra. Oh yeah, almost accidentally grabbed it. I was so entranced looking at all the hit effects from the fire bullets on the huge horde there. Better to just grab that now. The lead storm is much higher level, so the Subata probably won't help much against the bosses. They are about to come out, so time for the supply pod. Huh, that's a bit awkward to get back to it. Okay, that should be enough time now. Unless he charges right at it. Okay, those are useless. That's not bad. And we can turn damage effects back on for a little bit, hopefully. So many numbers. Ow. Maybe I should have gotten some piercing shots upgrades because it is very hard to actually get through the huge horde here. Uh, potency into an overclock, sure. Grab the fire rate and reload speed or the piercing. Eh, that'll look cooler. It actually is kind of hard to face him with how slow I am. So I guess the Subata is helping out more than I expected. Kind of hard to face him with the lead storm here. Big fire rate or a Subata overclock, I'll take that. So there you have it, the full rapid fire gunner with a little bit of a twist trying to scale up the status damage. I don't think it really worked out for this run and crit and weapon damage would have been better just based off of the stuff I offered. I was offered on the run I mean, but it was cool to try it out and I think the lead burster is strong enough that I could still get away with it. The ammo rig was very good, although I did have to give up the pickled nitro, which probably would have been best in slot for that. The rations were very important and actually kept me alive there at the one point where I had so many numbers on the screen that I couldn't see anything at all. Um, those two were not great. Pretzel was okay. 
Um, I guess I need to add up the total damage and subtract it from both of those for the dot. So 19, about 21, 23 versus 45. So I had about 22, 23 million dot damage. So it was about half of my damage. And I think the squinties definitely would have been worth it here. But if I had gotten a bit more potency and status effect damage, the dot actually would have been fairly solid. Just didn't have a lot of great options for it. But still pretty effective. Lead Burster is of course fantastic. Lead Storm is a bit on the weak side. And those ones got leveled up kind of slow. The main issue with the build is there aren't great unstable overclocks if you're getting these ones early on. Since they mainly increase weapon damage at the cost of some of the cooler stats, which would be more relevant for these status effects. The burst fire would have been pretty good to get early on, since that has good unstable overclocks with the huge fire rate and the spiral pattern. Subata would have been solid, since you can just straight up double the bullets. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.